Hey guys, it's Elena. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to walk you through how to make your very own baby swaddle. This is such a great gift or a great thing to make for yourself. It's super easy and is also very cute <laughs> and quick. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do it and you can make your very own baby swaddles. So starting off, you will need one and one third yard of some muslin fabric. I found mine from Joann's. It was really pretty. They had a lot of different options. So I picked this teal color and then I am just evening off the edges. So I folded it in half um, just to do a rough cut and then I'm folding it again so that it fits on my mat. And then I'm using my rotary cutter to get a really nice straight edge. Make sure that you do this as many times as you need to get it as nice and straight and even as you can. And then flip it around and do the other side of the quilt as well. Just make sure that everything is nice and square and as straight as possible. Once you've done that, we are going to do a double folded hem all the way around the edge of our quilt. You can finish this off a couple different ways, but this is the way that I think looks the most professional and blends in the easiest. So I folded up the edge about one half inch and then folded it up a second time and then pinned it. I decided not to iron it at this stage just because I don't wanna get rid of that nice bubbled up muslin texture. And then when it came to doing corners, I just simply folded it up again like I did before and went around the entire edge of the swaddle. Use as many pins as you need to make sure that it's nice and secure because the next step is we are going to actually sew and secure this down with a straight stitch. I am using a very, very, very small seam allowance to do this. So I'm just barely catching that edge of this double folded hem and taking out my pins along the way, making sure that everything is sitting nice and straight and flat. And I have a faff machine, which has a kind of a built-in walking foot. But if you have a different type of machine, this would be a great opportunity to use a walking foot. If you don't have one, that's absolutely no problem, but that'll just make it a little bit easier as you go around all of the edges. Once you've gone all the way around, that is literally it. <laughs> this is the easiest tutorial ever. It's such an easy blanket, but it looks so nice. It is so affordable and is a great way to personalize a nice little blanket for your baby or for someone else as well. I hope you loved this tutorial and please let me know how it ends up working for you.